After three days, sea aircraft Liaoning arrived at the military harbor in Sanya on Hainan Island. This is the Liaoning's first training voyage from the East China Sea to the South China Sea since it was commissioned by the Navy last year. The carrier was escorted by two guided missile destroyers, the Shenyang and the Jiazhuang, and two missile frigates, the Yantai and the Weifang. We prepared well and the voyage was a success. The mission tested our plans, military capability and equipment. We gained experience and gathered data which will help future operations. On Tuesday, the carrier left its home port of Qingdao in East China's Shandong province for the South China Sea. It passed through the Taiwan Strait on Thursday morning. After a stopover at Sanya military base in Hainan province, it's due to proceed with testing and training exercises. The vessel did not enter waters near the Diaoyu Islands, but the U.S. and Japan were on high alert. The two countries sent air and sea reconnaissance forces to observe the voyage. Analysts say that the U.S. was taking the opportunity to approach and detect China's aircraft carrier. The U.S. and Japan took the Liaoning's training mission so seriously for two reasons. One is for detection and the other is to exaggerate the mission. The two countries keep a close eye on China's naval forces on each mission, so the Liaoning's on-time sea training is a good opportunity for them, and they're seizing it. The U.S. George Washington and the U.S.'s Nimitz are both in the South China Sea, and Japan's Issei is also in the Philippines, where it went to help with rescue and relief after Typhoon Haiyan. That means there are now four aircraft carriers in the same sea area at the same time. Analysts say the U.S. is exaggerating a normal Chinese training mission for its own benefit. China's defense ministry says the mission is not aimed at any region or any country and has nothing to do with the current international situation. Jin Chao, CCTV.